Vocal opposition to the government's health system overhaul has tonight shifted to the western suburbs with a community rally against changes to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Live now to reporter Ben Avery and Ben, residents there are worried they'll be left without proper care. Yeah, they are, Brenton, and so much so that they've gathered here for a rally which will begin in a couple of minutes' time and it will see them head down the road here to St Margaret's Church where they'll take part in a public forum on this issue. They'll share their concerns, their concerns that relate largely to the potential downgrading of the emergency department here and uh, their biggest concern is that the government is going to send life-threatening cases from here to the Royal Adelaide rather than treating them here at the QEH. Let's have a listen to some of these people's concerns. What we've been told by emergency doctors is that it will cost lives. Um, if people are presenting here as they are at the QEH at the moment, uh, you know, having heart attacks, they'll be bundled into an ambulance and taken to the RA. Now, today in Parliament, the opposition asked the government to extend the public consultation period for its proposal, which currently ends on Friday. But the Health Minister refused to do that and actually became quite animated when he was pressed on whether he's changing services here at Modbury and down at Nalunga to try and save money. We haven't modelled savings because this process, process isn't about savings. This process, from the very beginning, is about quality of care and making sure people in the southern suburbs get the best quality care. Now, so far, the government's received more than 1,000 submissions on its proposal. So, Brenton, that shows that this is a controversial uh, issue and it will continue to be. Yeah, indeed. Ben Avery, thank you.